this video, I thought I'd share some ideas on what to distract yourself with during social distancing. To be honest, I'm such a loner, so this isn't a huge change for me. Now that I can't do what I normally don't do, I suddenly want to be all out and about. I guess you always want what you can't have. Here are some ideas of what you can do to take your mind off the present situation. Treat yourself. It doesn't take a lot to cheer me up. Sunshine does it always, but treating myself to fresh flowers now and then also does. These are not fancy roses at all. I got them from the grocery store and they're just happy looking. Grocery store bouquets can sometimes look so-so when you remove the wrapper, and this bouquet had some bent stems. But those little broken off ones now cheer me up in my bathroom. Organize a space. Organizing is my happy place. When I feel stressed, organizing or reorganizing a space can do wonders to how I feel. In this case I took on my junk drawer in the kitchen. It already had organization so I didn't start from scratch, I just wanted to see if I can find an even better solution to all the little bits that live in there. I like taking everything out and clean the areas. So after that was done I added the grey felt padding back in. I like the felt because it keeps things from rattling around so much. On top of the felt I added a wooden organizer. I have several of these in different versions from a Swedish online shop. I will link it in the description box, but I'll also link to some additional ones more readily available that I think would work well too. By the way, I'll try to link as much as I can in the description box from now on. I'm in Sweden, so many of the items I have in my home might not be available in other countries, but if I can find it, or very similar, I'll add it just so you know where to look. I also like using containers that are not necessarily intended for organization. These metal ones are actually bread pans, but for decades I've used them for tools and similar items in my kitchens. After I got the structure down, I added everything back in. And then a sigh of relief. Clean somewhere. Cleaning can also be a stress relief for me. Not in the same way that organizing is my happy place, but the calmness I feel after I'm done. The kitchen cabinet above the sink is where I keep my pantry items, and while it's well organized, it does get dusty from spices and flour after a while. Again, everything out of there, and after a good wipe down, everything back in. Those of you who followed me for a long time on the old blog back in the day, recognize the square containers. I still love them, so great that they're stackable and come in various sizes. Again, I'll link similar ones in the description box. My other favorites in here are my Muji bins. I like to corral similar types of smaller items and their packages in the bins, instead of decanting absolutely everything.
meant something. I'm taking the opportunity to do things I normally don't have time for or take time for now. The clothes that I wear around the house are usually old favorites and have seen better days sometimes. Like this super cozy sweater. I love it but it's so worn out on the elbows. Enter a set of elbow patches, yarn and a needle. Wasn't sure whether to go for the beige or the grey thread but settled on the grey. These particular patches you iron on first, which was good because that way they stayed in place while I stitched. As good as new. I just want to preface my next two tips that all countries have different rules and regulations regarding the current situation. The things I'm suggesting here were okay to do here in Stockholm, Sweden at the time I recorded this video. Things change rapidly and the situation may be different now that you're watching or depending on where you're located, so please bear this in mind. Do some yard work. I'm super lucky to have a bit of outside space to my apartment. It's spring, so in order to take full advantage of the space as soon as it gets warmer, I started doing a bit of yard work. Remove the covers from my patio furniture, cut back some of the dead foliage, removed some winter plants and branches, and just generally tidied things up ready for spring. Take a walk. I'm almost addicted to walking. The cool air in the morning wakes me up and refreshes me, before starting the rest of the day. In order to avoid other people, I take my walks early in the mornings in an area where there's not a lot of foot traffic. My walks take me roughly an hour and during this particular one at 7am on a Saturday morning, I saw maybe 10 people at a distance altogether. Mostly people walking their dogs and the odd other person jogging. So grateful that this is still available to me and I can only imagine how hard it must be to not be able to walk around freely. Do something analog. I don't personally watch the news all the time. I take a mental break from it all and set specific times when I check in and choose my news sources carefully. To take a digital mantle break, I also went back to doing a classic analog puzzle. You guys, it's amazing and addictive. While I puzzle, I listen to podcasts. Not analog, but very relaxing. More recent favorites are the One Step podcast with YouTuber Ingrid Nielsen, Tuxedo Time with Becky and Chris, also YouTubers, and the India Hicks podcast about India's fascinating family with British royal connections. Long-time favorites are Every Little Thing, Young House Love has a podcast, 99% Invisible, and of course The Mustards. Lots and lots to keep you entertained while walking or puzzling. Make a healthy snack. Isn't it funny how you stock up on snacks that are supposed to last you all through social isolation and you end up eating most of them immediately? I used to make these semi-healthy snacks all the time, but I haven't in a long while, so I'm bringing them back. The ingredients are super simple. About 15 dates, 1.5 deciliters of rolled oats, I use gluten-free, 4 tablespoons of coconut oil, 4 tablespoons of strong coffee, I used instant this time, 3 to 4 tablespoons of cacao powder and shredded coconut. Mix everything together until it's like a paste, roll into balls and then roll in the shredded coconut. I put them in the refrigerator but you can also pop them in the freezer. So simple, so good.
do some yoga or other indoor exercise. I'm not a proper yogi by any means, but over the years I've come to enjoy some easy practices. I have an achy back and a wonky knee, so I do different sequences for those in particular. I highly recommend Yoga with Adrienne on YouTube if you're not already familiar with her. I do often just get my mat out and do a bit of simple stretching, and for me it's as much a time to relax as it is a time to stretch. I close my eyes and just enjoy the quiet moment. When I say those words I think it sounds almost a bit corny, I'm quite an active person and not very mindful, but I've come to really appreciate my time on the mat. If you're more into high intensity workouts, I hear MadFit on YouTube and Instagram is the place to go. I've saved several of her videos to my watch list and intend to try some in the near future. In many of them you don't seem to need any equipment, which sounds great to me. Oh, speaking of Instagram, do follow over there too. Trying to reach 10k so I can finally get the swipe up. I sincerely hope you're okay and that you're safe. I also hope that one or two of these tips are useful to you during this time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Please also consider subscribing. I'll continue to share all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.